In today's video, we're going to fix your B strike slur tap, whatever you call it. Stay tuned. Hello, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper, and I make videos to make you a stronger and more confident bagpiper. If you like the kind of content you're seeing here, please like this video, comment below with any thoughts you might have, and please consider subscribing to the channel. All right, let's get to it. One of the most troubling movements for many pipers on our instrument is the B slur. Tap? Strike? It has a lot of names, but we all know it, where we have to go from B down to low G and tap it cleanly and precisely. It's just that easy, right? I struggled with this for a very long time before I came up with some tips and strategies to make it easier for me. So the first thing I want to talk about is that I have a uh, downloadable sheet right here. There's a link below to a PDF of this very form right here where I talk about everything we're about to do. So get your practice chanter out. And what I want to do, we don't have to blow at all for this section. I want you to start by grabbing your practice chanter and finger a B and now tap your pinky by itself. Leave that ring finger in the air. Tap it. Good little bit of force on that tap. You should hear it right by the mic. But make sure that ring finger stays up. It's kind of weird, I know. Do that for 15, 20 seconds. So that's, uh, that's job number one. Second part. Now, grab your chanter, finger a low G, and now explode your ring finger off. Like really, like make it pop off and then just nice and relax down a nice explosive motion up 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 making sure that pinky stays down because let's think about what we're doing in this warm-up in the b i call them taps um i know in in scotland they seem to call them slurs i'm not quite sure why it's the least slurring motion you can do on a musical instrument if you have an answer for why it's called a slur please uh comment below i'd love to hear it um, and then the strike is when it's combined with the G grace note to make it an embellishment in my world. So I call this a B tap. It doesn't really matter what you call it. But when you're going down for the tap, the motion downward needs to be all in the pinky. That's why we're tapping it by itself in this warm-up. If you think about your ring finger too much, you're going to get a run down through A. We don't want that. We want a nice, clean, downward motion. And then... On the flip side, on the way up, it's all about that ring finger coming up before the pinky. If the pinky comes up first, that's not going to work either. But if you explode that ring finger up and just let the pinky come along for the ride, you're going to have a good, clean strike. So on here, we've talked about the warm-up. Now the exercise itself, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my metronome here. And I'm going to set it for... 77 that seems to be a good speed let's make sure it's not too loud and you can see what we're going to do in this exercise is we're going to start on a b with a g grace note g grace note to b we're going to go down to a full-on low g back up to a b and then do a tap and then we're going to repeat that g grace note on b down to low g up to b and then another tap then we're going to go g grace note and then three taps in a row and do that again and the idea here is that after your warm-up, they should be nice and clean. I would try this line, uh, maybe even repeat it, and see how it's feeling. If it's not clean yet, go back up and do the warm-up again a time or three. If it is sounding good, well, then we fixed your B strikes, and that's what this is all about. So I'm going to turn this on. There we go. Now I'm going to play through this. You want to make sure your grace notes and your taps align exactly on that metronome. And don't go faster than 85. It's not useful to try this at like 120 or anything. So on and so forth. So that is how I go about fixing B strikes because it's a hard motion to do. But this, I hope, helps you. If it does, please comment below, like the video, let other people know if you've had success with this, and share this video with anybody in your world that has messy B strikes, tap slurs, whatever you want to call them. So I hope you found this helpful. Again, my name is Matt Willis, and uh, 
please, if you like this, subscribe to the channel. The more subscribers I have, the easier it is for me to make this kind of content. But until next time, everybody, cheers. Cheers.